Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install the Red Hat Linux Server 7.2 is the latest version which I am going to install in the virtual box. You can also install this Red Hat Linux in VMware Workstation and Hyper-V also. The same method, the same procedure you need to follow that I am going to show you. Every steps and commands and download links you can find below to my video in the description box. So, first of all, you need to open the browser. Then you need to type on the Google virtual box. If you type the virtual box, it will be the virtual box link. So you can click on the download link, which will be redirect your webs or there you can see the having latest version 5.0.14 for the Windows support. Once you click on this link, it will automatically download your supported operating system. It will automatically detect which you have a 32 bit or 64 bit. So you can download this virtual box. Once you download, you will find in my channel uh, this uh, how to install the virtual box latest version. So after watch installation this virtual box, uh, you need to download the Red Hat. And here is my Red Hat link. You can find this link in the description box to my video. This link just copy and paste it and enter it, and it will be redirected to the login page where you need to enter the uh, subscriptions uh, email ID, a login ID, and you need to enter the password. Once you download, you need to click on this product variant which you want. Whether you want Linux server, extended support, Linux workstation, that or NC, whichever according to your purpose once you select the Linux enterprise Linux uh, uh, server which I am installing and latest version is 7.2 which is having here you can select the previous version also actually supports 64 bit please remember this Red Hat supports only the uh, 64 bit operating system it does not support to the 32 bits please remember this one before downloading or installing it does not support 32 bit it only supports 64 bit architecture you scroll down uh, you can find the installation image down this image this is for the KVM and this one is the boot image that means if you download this one it will be boot only and try this boot image without installation I uh, want to install means you need to download this one 7.2 binary DVD size on the screen you can see 7.3.7 GB which is the size and this is a checksum is there after downloading match this ID number so after the download this one once you click on the download it will be redirect and it will be asked where you want to save it which I have already downloaded this one is about the minimum six minimum system requirement is you need to have a six GB of space free you need to have a two GB of RAM recommended also is showing you can have about this one RAM plus GB of so scroll down you can find the above swap installation others is there on this link website so this is my virtual box i have installed the latest version 5 click on new once you click on new, you to type the name of this uh, uh, linux that linux i'm giving 7.2 is the latest version so, so uh, i'm selecting the version uh, 64 bit don't get the 64 bit option so if it does not get 64 bit option just watch this video get 64 bit option in virtual box that means you need to enable the virtualization in your bios so just watch this video you will have 64 bit option in virtual box so here you will get if it does not get 64 bit option by default so click on next and go to your green point do not go to the red point here once you go to the last green at least next red click on next next and here is the size of hard disk which you i want if at 25 GB for this space and this is the location which is going to store in your computer laptop or desktop so just now i have changed the location of this installation and then click to create it now so i click on create now so i need to go to the settings here uh, just click on this system uncheck floppy and go to your uh, processor click enable apex and slash nx to check this hardware virtualization also enable btx and amd and once you go on this also click on storage then you need to click on small cd icon use the virtual disk option where you have downloaded the iso image 
once you click here on the screen which I have done this uh, Linux also image there and just click open it now click on network select the bridge adapter select the select this bridge adapter Do not do anything here See, by default it will select every options here so think about this we do not need to change anything here just select the bridge adapter detects all these options also so once you select all those things you need to click ok you need to click on start now on the screen you can see uh, we having the Red Hat Linux Enterprise 11.2 uh, you can test this media and install the Red Hat Linux so I am going to select the first option install Red Hat Linux direct I do not want to test this media uh, just select and press and enter and so on the screen you can see it's switching to root uh, it's loading the starting the uh, these kind of modules uh, so it's starting a job running for the hardware database on the screen you can see not less than time starting the installation please at moment here we have anaconda one main two shell three logs four storage switch tab alt tab or press help so not asking for this one it will become wait so my friend you can see welcome to the red hat on the screen to select your language which language you belongs to and which your language prefer so once you select your default language click to continue so on the screen you can see being a date time automatic selected uh, once you click on this also be, you can uh, select your uh, own time zone and language also and here we having two things like resource available by default and we need to install the partition so just click on this one <coughs> after selecting this option I will scroll to up to show you something so here is there so you can see once you select on this hard disk again there is partition is there you want to automatically uh, configure the partitioning or I will configure the partition so that means you need to, if you select this I will configure the partition is you need to manually assign every partition here if you select it will be automatically create the partition and it will be uh, install format and install so once you select that options uh, can have scrolled on last one so so once you select it, you can select so press on done showing internet host will not connect so you can this one also it will be have connected later on we can connect after the insertion come again show it connected or not So it's disconnect actually. You to click on this on. Connecting. Once you click on on, just uh, have press a tab. Done. Click on the done accessing tab. Once you done, and uh, then scroll down, and then scroll down. See, it has been connected. Everything is okay here. Now we can you can see security policy is there. Uh, you can also select the security policy. See, you can see this one is a security policy. Is there? So, to your rules, you can select the security policy here. So, uh, right now, I have policy here. Now, installations will begin the installations now. Now, please complete the market items. I can't do for continuity mix ups. 
so what is showing the password and user creation for the router so this is the password which i am setting for the root and i am by giving the capital letters and numerical special characters once you assign the password done so after that the password is set click on the user creation i mean i am giving cloud net full name and user i am giving it cloud net and make administrator require password to use this account okay and i am giving a big password please confirm the same password and give a strong password and you can go for the advanced also to check the options you done the strong giving password click after that you can again refresh then once you done the password giving check what is showing so on the screen showing to be installing the uh, some of the library files and everything so it will be take uh, almost here uh, 25 minutes for this to complete the installation till then you can have a coffee or some kind of work if you have you can go ahead then back to the end i will show you the complete installations this one Installation is completed. Just click to reboot it now. So select your uh, next for the installation. So this uh, this is your Red Hat Linux server, and it will not support the full screen. Uh, it only support the desktop for the full screen. So server not supported the full screen. And I'm going to log in here with the username it cloud. Which I have given and the password during the installation which I have given. So you can see this is your installation is there, and uh, you can keep so this is your Red Hat Sun point to final installation. So if you have any problem, you can comment below to my video also. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel.